In this class, we will try to solve a problem on divergence. In the previous classes, we have already seen what is a divergence, what is positive divergence, negative divergence and zero divergence. In this problem, it is given that we have to find the divergence of the field D which is given by this expression and we have to find the divergence at origin. Now, by definition we know that divergence D is given by delta dot T which is nothing but delta is the operator, dot is the dot product and D is the field which is given to us which would be nothing but del of del x of D plus del D by del y plus Now, let us uh, substitute the values and try to understand. Now, this is the variation of D field along the x axis, the variation of D field along y and the variation of D along the z and remember this is an partial differentiation. So, what would be my D? Just substitute the D. Now, this D is along the x axis, the variation is this component only, along the y we have this component only along the z we have only this component so we will substitute that so it will be del of del x of e power minus x cos y plus del of del y of minus e power x sin y plus del of del z of minus 7 z. So, this is a partial differentiation with respect to x. So, this cos y remains as a constant. So, it would be nothing but what would be the differentiation of e to the power minus x? It would be minus e power minus x. It would be cos y plus, now in this case minus e to the power x would be a constant. So, what is the differentiation of sin y? It would be a cos y. plus what would be the differentiation of z? It would be 1. So, this comes out to be minus 7. If I simplify this further, what would be the expression? The expression would be minus e to the power minus x cos y plus this will be minus e to the power x cos y this would be minus 7. So, this will be del dot d. Now, we have to find this divergence at origin. At origin what is a coordinate? x is 0, y is 0 and z is 0. So, we have to substitute x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0. If I substitute here, this will become what is cos 0. So, if I substitute this quantity e to the power 0 is 1. So, and cos 0 is also 1, then this comes out to be minus 1 minus e to the power 0 is again 1 and cos cos 0 is again 1. So, this again comes out to be 1, this comes out to be minus 7. So, this comes out to be minus 9. So, the divergence of this d field comes out to be minus 9. 